Right, so bioartography started back in 2005 and it started really as a fundraiser. The objective was to get money to be able to send trainees in the sciences to meetings so that they could network with their peers. When, when we first set up in 2005 and we realized that it had other important missions and that was like communicating science to the public. Well, the ma majority of the artwork is actually taken by investigators during the course of their research. So they're taking pictures like this every single day. They use microscopy very often as a tool to try to understand what's going on inside tissues and inside cells. And so these are the products of those images. So the investigators will add the dyes, take the picture, and as they look at the picture, it has scientific importance. But it's so beautiful at the same time that some of them they set aside and say, oh, I'm going to send this to bioartography. And we take them, we manipulate them a little bit in some cases, and then sell them at the art fair. I mean, art is, is this esoteric enjoyment of colors and shapes and forms and symmetry, and sometimes lack of symmetry. So when you take pictures under the microscope, you capture that as science. But when anyone who doesn't know what it is looks at it, thinks it's art. Because of the beautiful way our bodies are assembled, it really is art.